welcome back to my channel so as you can see by the title of this video today I'll be sharing with you guys all of the books I have so far for my son most of them his father bought some of them we got as gifts and a few of them I bought myself so he have a very nice collection going so far so I thought it would be cool to share those books with you guys if you're looking for you know outside the box books for your child where they can see a representation of themselves again I don't want this to be a long video so let's jump right in so I have my son here with me so bear with me so the first book I'm going to share with you guys is the first book ever that I bought I bought for him I actually bought this book while I was still pregnant and I used to read it to him while he was in my stomach and the name of it is Ada Twist Scientist. I've read this book so much that I practically know it by heart <laughs> and I really like it. It, it rhymes. Um, yes, I really like this book. It rhymes and the characters are really nice and it sends a really good message. So um, this is the first book I ever bought. I got it from Barnes & Noble. And I'm going to link, I'm not going to probably link it, but I'm going to name all of the books I talk about in this video in the description box so you guys can go and check it out if you're interested in any of them. So this is the first one. It's called Ada Twist Scientist by Andrea BT. These next two books we actually got from my sister-in-law. She had them for her sons and she, and she sent them to me. The first one is called The Very Hungry Caterpillar, and I like this because it is hardback, all of the pages, so, you know, it's durable and lasting. It's very short and straight to the point. It's a very nice book to read for your little one, especially if, you know, they're not trying to listen through a whole long book. So, yes. The second one, it actually goes with The Hungry Caterpillar. It's the Hungry Caterpillar ABC book where, you know, it basically takes you through all of the alphabets and a corresponding animal with it. It's very nice. Again, it's hardback and a very durable book. Now these two books I actually bought from him. I got it from Amazon. The majority of the books we have here we got from Amazon. Amazon comes in clutch, especially when you got that Prime two-day shipping. So the first one is called I Am So Brave and this one is by Steven Krensky. It's very short again. For a little baby, short books are the best because they get the, the benefit of you reading to them, seeing the words, seeing the colors, seeing the pictures while not getting bored at the same time. So this is a very short, straight to the point book called I Am So Brave. Very nice. I hope you guys can see this. Sometimes my camera isn't focusing and I can't tell. But yeah. And this book is from the same author as the previous one. It's called I Know A Lot. Again, it's very short, very straight to the point. You want me to read to you? This book my mom actually got for him. It's called One Love. Got it from Amazon. It's from, actually, I think this is um, Bob Marley's daughter, Cadella Marley. I could be wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong. But it's called One Love. It's based off of the song, One Love. I can't even read this book without singing the song because it's literally the lyrics of the song in the book. You okay? And then they have a picture of Bob Marley, his wife, and his children. A very old picture on it. I thought that was cool. So yeah, it's a very book, I don't know, it's a very nice book, basically about unity and love, and it's short, it's hardback, adorable, a very nice book. This is another one I bought for him from Amazon, it's called Full, Full, Full of Love, and I've read this too many times as well to him, it's by Trish Cook. It's a very nice book, basically about a little boy going over to his grandmother's house for Sunday dinner. This is another book my mom got for him. It's called Baby's What? Yeah, Baby's Love First Word. And um 
is like pointing out very sh <laughs> pointing out words. He sees his books and now he, he's getting all excited. So it's basically um, a way to learn words while reading it in a story. So for example, they have like the dog barks at the and then you put down this little flap and it has ball. So it's a very cool book, a very interactive book. This is a nice counting book. It's called Feast for Ten. And I got this off of Amazon. Most of these book, like I said, got it off of Amazon. And it's basically a counting book that incorporates like a storyline. So for example, it just says one cart into the grocery store and it just goes from one to 10 and basically counting the items that they're shopping for and making for dinner. <laughs> this is a book that his dad got. Um, this would be more beneficial for older um, children. So he's kind of still too young for this one, but we still use it. And it has an interactive part in the back where you can color it. And then another interactive part where you can actually put right in the numbers. So this is better for like those in preschool or kindergarten who's already learning how to write their numbers. I hope you guys could hear me over all this noise he making. Okay, so let's get into some books that his dad bought. The first one is called Peekaboo Morning. It's by Rachel, Rachel Isadora. Again, a nice hardback book. The illustration in this book is so cute. I love it. Whoever the artist for this book was, they are like amazing. And look how cute that baby is. So adorable. I love this book. So again, it's nice and short. Great for babies. They get the benefit of you reading to them, seeing the words, seeing the colors, yet not being bored by a long, drawn-out story. The one his dad bought for him is this. It's called So Much. I haven't had the chance to read this one yet, but it is a bigger book. It's not hardback and it is more of a long, longer story however the illustration again is amazing and like I said I haven't gotten gotten a chance to read this one yet but um, this may be great to read for uh, I'll say bedtime where they're not so antsy maybe they're right on the verge to go to sleep since it's a longer book this is another book his dad got for him. It's called Dad Who Will I Be? It's written by Todd Taylor. And it's just basically about a young boy asking his dad all of asking his dad who will he be when he grew up and you know is will he be like Muhammad Ali or Mansa Musa? There's like some really great um, black heroes, black great men. So you have Garrett Morgan, you have Muhammad Ali, Michael Jackson, not Michael Jackson, sorry, Michael Jordan, Martin Luther King, Mansa Musa, Marcus Garvey. Like, there's a lot of great leaders in this book. And basically throughout the book, he's asking his dad, can he be like those great leaders? So it's a really nice book. And his dad is basically saying, you can be whatever you wanna be. This is another book his dad bought for him. It's called Pop Pop and Me. It's by Irene Smalls. And did I get to read this book yet? I have not gotten to read this book yet. This is one of the newer books he just recently got, but I'm pretty sure his dad already read all of these books to him. This one is basically about, um, I think, a young boy cooking with his grandfather. And yeah. So uh, it's longer than some of the other books I've shown, but it's still pretty short. It's not too long because the words are really big and there aren't very long paragraphs on each page. So it would be a nice quick book as well. It's not... This one he got from one of his godmothers. Shout out to Ellie. Um, it's written by Tay Diggs 
and um, it's called chocolate me it's basically um, pretty much uplifting a young boy who has like these white friends who uh, were basically teased well they weren't his friends if they were teasing the color of his skin right but he was basically getting teased for the color of his skin and his mom at the end told him you know your skin is basically like chocolate everyone loves chocolate blah 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 so just a book basically encouraging young children to love the skin that they're in so this is a nice book as well it would be nice for like older older children who um can actually understand the message but i've read this book to him already and coming down to the last few we have this nice animal storybook it's um a big book that has a compil compilation of different story Ooh, different stories it has 11 special tales in it the stories are very short so the colors are amazing the illustration is amazing and it's very interesting for your baby to watch just to engage them with the different colors and animals <laughs> even he, he see he's watching it right now you like it you want mama to read to you Ooh, little bunny's first day it was little bunny's first day at forest school the last three books I'm going to show you is not for babies. <laughs> um, his dad actually bought these books, but I look, he feel like his dad bought them for himself. This one is called African Folk Tales. However, he does read him stories out of these books when they're alone together. Um, and they all have like a lesson behind them. It's like really s short stories within these books. They don't have any pictures because they aren't for babies, they're for older children. But you know, at least they're still seeing, he's still seeing the words. So this one is called African Folk Tales. This one is called Aesop Fable? Fable? Fables? I've never actually read this, anyone, any stories out of this one. Aesop's Fable, Fables. So these would be great for like older children who are actually like in, in school already reading and writing, whether they're in sixth grade or whatever the case may be. And this one is African Myth and Folk Tales. See the books are actually really thick. I think he's sleepy. And it's like, like these are for grown children. Even grown adults <laughs> so these three books aren't really for children or babies but um, you can still read them stories out of it if you want to teach them something so yeah um, like I said these are for babies or little children from ages birth till two or whatever but they are still nice books and um, your older children if you want may be interested in them uh, that's about it that is all of the books he have so far I thought this would be a nice video to do a little baby book haul just to share what books I read to him if you wanted some ideas of what kind of books to get for your child or your son these are all great books you know even these are great books but probably not for babies so if you have any of these books and love them let me know in the comments below or if you have any other books you'd like to share with me because we're always buying him new books let me know in the comment below as well again the name of all of these books will be in the description box below just in case you want to go down there and pick one out that seem interesting that you want to purchase for yourself and your child um, the information would be in the, the, the description box below so thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment subscribe share do all that good stuff if you enjoyed this video and enjoy videos like this with me sharing baby related stuff and motherhood related stuff give this video a thumbs up and you'll see me in my next one peace say subscribe to mama channel say subscribe no 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 say it the camera is that way yeah say subscribe
Subscribe. Say subscribe. <laughs> and you deserve it all. Oh, this is perfect. And it's the magic and everything you do. Is it not nerds? Perfect it and dance. The sun is missing and everything.